Thank you for joining us. I'm Christy Tedesco. Labor Day one year ago, a Kansas family's life forever changed. Loved ones found 93 year old Joanne Johnson brutally murdered in her Augusta home. And many months later, the shocking announcement from the police that two teenage girls are to blame. Here's 12 News investigator Brandon Stitt. Now, Brandon. Yeah, Christy, Joanne Johnson's son, Tim, tells me that his mom lived the American dream. He and his brother were raised in that home on Robbins Street in Augusta. It was a home with fond memories, but a year ago, that home became a nightmare. My mom uh, was born in Birdville, Kansas. After she graduated high school, she came to Wichita, uh, met my dad, got married. Um, they ultimately moved here in 1954. She kind of lived the American dream. An American dream, a dream Joanne Johnson started with a suitcase and five bucks. I was raised here, my brother was raised here. A quiet neighborhood on Robbins Street in Augusta. Joanne stayed right here for nearly 70 years. Then, Labor Day weekend, 2023. And when we got here, what was just a little bit unusual was that the door, the front door was cracked open. Their walk through that door would change their lives forever. It's not something that you imagine. My mom was just a couple weeks shy of 94 years old as you know, she lived in a, you know, a quiet, peaceful neighborhood, a safe neighborhood. I still think it's a safe neighborhood in a safe town. Um, but when we walked inside, uh, she was literally unrecognizable. If, if, if she hadn't, if we hadn't seen her tennis shoes, um, I wouldn't have recognized who she was. His mother brutally murdered. No signs of a robbery. No signs of who was responsible. No suspects have been identified at this time. They Frankly, you don't know if you're a suspect. Everyone prepared us that this will be long. And it was long. The investigation would go on for nearly a year. And finally, we begin with that breaking news tonight as two 14 year old girls arrested in connection to the murder of a 93 year old Augusta woman. His exact words to, were to me were the first thing he said was, I'm a man of my word. And so I knew when he said that, I knew when he said, I'm a man of my word, then I knew that they had made an arrest. Words that Tim was beginning to think would never come. I, it, it's so hard to describe um, because it's not closure. And community members have scheduled a candlelight vigil in memory of Joanne. It will take place tomorrow at her home on Robin Street there in Augusta. It's tomorrow night at 7. Brandon, thanks. As for the 14 year old girls charged with murdering Johnson, their next court appearances will be the morning of October 31st. They pleaded not guilty to first degree murder last week. Meantime, the judge has denied our request for the affidavit in the case that would lay out the investigative steps, what was said in the girls interviews, possibly a motive. We'll keep working to bring you updates and we'll tell you how those next court appearances go. We'll be on the air online and on your mobile device.